In this video, I want to show you one of my favorite card features and that's attachments. So let's open the card and it is right here. Attachments allow you to basically attach whatever you want to a Trello card. It's fabulous. So let's just grab this blog post and I can just grab the URL, go right here. You can name it anything you want and it's attached. And then you can simply open it up right from the card. You can rename it here. And of course you can remove or you can add a comment here. You can add an attachment from here, or again, you can add it from here. I love doing Trillo attachments, so I really use attachments to other boards and to other cards quite a bit. So let's, so you can, you can do it two different ways. So every board and every card has a link to this card or a link to this board. So I'm gonna go here, attachments, and I'm gonna link that card. And it actually shows up here in its own little Trillo attachment. But again, you can go to Trillo here, and it says card or board to add. So let's just add another board, a different board. So then it shows the board there. So I love this because number one, it's really visual. Number two, it makes it so easy when you need to reference another card or another board um, when you're doing your processes. And again, you can remove here. The other really cool thing is that you can attach pictures. So let's go to the computer. Let's just attach my logo. And you can actually make it the cover. So say make cover, and then it becomes the cover of the card, which is, I just love that feature. But to make sure to have that feature, you need to go here, settings, and card cover images enabled. I love the feature, that feature, because it makes your boards and cards so much more visually appealing. And to me, that makes it easier for me to work with because I, it has just more of a visual impact. But it's totally your preference. A lot of people don't like that. I abuse it. So that's basically all there is to attachments. And you know, you can use these other features like Google Drive or Dropbox or Box or OneDrive. So if you utilize those, you can do it just like how, once you've connected it, you can use it just like this, um, how you do the computer 